and as you can see this is our studio that's where we shoot all of our videos and that's our bookshelf there wow is that a beach ball sharon sharon what are oh, you doing I, i'm so sorry about that hi ivy how are you i'm doing great what are you doing i was at a beach beach i mean a virtual beach you mean virtual reality it's exactly there Okay so if you're done enjoying your virtual beach we have a video to shoot you know what yes let's get that started Hey everyone I'm Ivy and I'm Sharan Welcome to this exciting journey into virtual reality or VR It's a world where all your dreams and fantasies come to life right in front of your eyes Exactly Imagine being in your room one second and the next you're wandering around in the majestic hall of the Taj Mahal or taking a scenic boat ride in the backwaters of Kerala. That's the magic of VR. But have you wondered how this tech transports you to these amazing places? This is where we dive in and find out. Hold on. Before we go any further, let's take a moment to appreciate how virtual reality came to be it's mind blowing to think that vr's journey began back in the 1960s with bulky machines and basic visuals absolutely the leap from ivan sutherland's the sword of democles in 1968 which was so heavy it had to be hung from the ceiling to today's sleek and sophisticated headsets like the meta quest and the stc vive is just astounding vr does more than just show us pictures it trick all our senses into thinking we are somewhere else entirely <laughs> oh shit <laughs> exactly abhi and it all starts with this the vr headset popular in the market are the oculus and the stc vive they are not just screens they are like portals and they have separate screens for each of your eye that work towards giving you a deep three dimensional view and this is exactly what makes you feel like you're actually in the virtual world but just looking around isn't enough though our world changes as we move and we are can keep up with us through something called motion tracking it's as if we are has its own eyes and ears watching how you move turn your head and you see a part of the virtual world reach out and you might touch the carving of a temple and then we have these let's call them our little digital magic wands officially known as input devices they change the real world movements into actions in the virtual space these tools help you connect directly to the digital universe but there is more to immersion than just visual spatial audio wraps us in sounds from all directions it's incredibly detailed and not to overlook haptic feedback what is haptic feedback haptic feedback is a technology that simulates the sense of touch by applying forces vibrations or motions to the user it's used in various devices like smartphones game controllers and wearables to provide a physical response to a digital interaction for example when you type on a virtual keyboard on a touch screen the slight vibration that you feel with each keystroke is haptic feedback it enhances user experiences by making digital interactions feel more real and tangible to breathe life into these virtual worlds we rely on rendering engines what is rendering rendering is a process of generating photorealistic or non photorealistic image from 2d or 3d model through computer programs for example in video games rendering turns complex 3d environment into the graphic players seen on the screen In movies it brings animated characters and scenes to life with detailed textured and lighting. A hidden challenge in VR is latency, defined as a slight delay between our actions in the VR and the virtual world's response. Minimizing this delay is crucial for maintaining the illusion of reality. It ensures that when you swing a cricket bat in VR, the action unfolds instantly. preserving the seamlessness of the virtual experience field of view or fov is what allows us to take the vastness of the himalayas or the intricacies of an ancient fort without constantly turning our heads it's like having panoramic vision 
pulling us deeper into the story. A wide FOV is important because it makes the virtual world encompassing and immersive, just like our natural vision. And then let's talk about the six degrees of freedom, also called as the sixth off. This feature enables us to move naturally in the virtual space, forward, backward, up, down, and all around. It's crucial for realism, whether exploring an ancient site or just ducking under virtual obstacles. The six degrees of freedom lets us move as we do in real life, making the virtual exploration deeply immersive. But where does this technology make a real impact in the world? A great question, Avi. VR isn't just about exploring fantasy worlds. It's all about revolutionizing sectors like the healthcare, the education, and the automotive sector. Let's now explore how. In healthcare, VR is a game changer. Surgeons are now practicing complex procedures in virtual environment before stepping into the operating room. Surgical Theatre provides a platform for such surgical training, enhancing skills without any risk to the patients. And it's not just for the professionals. Consider the VR pain relief applications that are now helping patients manage chronic pain. And we've got a tour of Victoria Falls today. The noise from the waterfall is heard 40 kilometers away. By immersing them in soothing, distraction-filled virtual environments. Moving on to the manufacturing. Companies like Toyota are integrating VR to revolutionize the way cars are designed and tested. Engineers can simulate driving experiences and tweak designs without the need of physical prototype, saving the time and resources. And turning to real estate, VR is now transforming how we view and buy homes. Virtual tours enable potential buyers to explore properties in detail from anywhere in the world, enabling a more informed decision-making process. Diving into entertainment. VR concerts like Blackpink's in Meta's Horizon Worlds app showcases the potential of the VR in creating immersive fan experiences that transcend traditional live events. These examples just scratch the surface of VR's potential. It's a tool that bridges the gap between digital dreams and tangible solutions across various sectors. Looking ahead, the future of VR is bright and boundless. We are on the brink of experiencing more realistic graphics, more natural interfaces, and even VR social spaces where you can interact with people around the globe like you were in the same room. And that's just scratching the surface. If VR, AR, or anything related to immersive media sparks your interest, come join our Discord community. It's a place where you can connect with like-minded people, share insights and dive deeper into the fascinating world of VR and beyond. And don't you forget to subscribe to our channel. Join us on this incredible journey into the future. Let's explore together the endless possibilities that VR and immersive technologies have to offer. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in our next adventure. Bye-bye.